Welcome to the project demonstration of smart stretcher. So here the main application of this project is this is going to be the whole stretcher one and this is on the platform for the patient. So whenever we are moving the stretcher, so if there are any inclinations on the road, then the uh, two servo motors uh, will stabilize this above stretcher, those uh, attached to the patient. So it will be automatically stabilized one. So if normally if you bend like this, automatically uh, the patient may fall down. So it backward also. So then this will be detected by the uh, ADXL 335 MEM sensor which is attached to our Atmega 328P microcontroller. So it will detect the inclinations uh, with respect to of earth. Then whenever the bending was detected then automatically the respective servo motors will be controlled. So here we are using two servo motors for controlling of this X and Y direction. So you can see that two, two uh, servo motors are attached to this above stretcher one. So here the interfacing of this MEM sensor to the A4 and A5 pins and two servo motors for 5 and 6th pin of our Atmega 328P microcontroller and this is the breadboard. So to distribute the 5 volts uh, power supply throughout the input and output modules. The input modules are ADXL345 and output modules are like servo motors. Two servo motors. The servo motor ratings are MG995 uh, servo motors we are using which is of 6 kg torque can be handled by that servo motors. And uh, here we are using Atmega 328P main microcontroller which is coded to control the uh, between the input and output modules. Also we have attached one temperature sensor so which is attached to the patient those are on the but the stretcher one so whenever the temperature increases above 50 degrees centigrade so then automatically the system will on the buzzer as a audible indication which is attached at the 12th pin and the temperature sensor is attached at the a0 pin of our atmega controller so let us see the demonstration Right. So just connect this to the uh, 230 volts inputs which will take 230 volts AC input and provide us the 5 volts constant DC output. So when we switch on the gauge, so initially it will go to the 0 position for the servo motors. Then it will stabilize the platform. So if you place any weight on that, so it will be stabilized over there. So while you are bending, you should take care of this, it is not supposed to touch this one, so maximum 45 degrees of inclination. So if no weight is on there on the stretcher one then it will be uh, vibrating because of overshooting so if you place the weight over here so it will stabilize over there you can see that now without any vibrations it will be stabilized